Last Saturday, during the Occupy Wall Street's movement's call for a day of global protest, police and demonstrators violently clashed in Times Square, where 45 people were arrested. Former Marine Sergeant Shamar Thomas, who served two tours in Iraq and is from a family that has served in the United States military since World War II, could not silently stand by and watch this happen. Joining me now is former Marine Corps Sergeant Shamar Thomas, who served two tours in Iraq and took part in the second Battle of Fallujah. Sergeant, thank you very much for joining thank me you, tonight. Sir. It is it. my honor to have you here. I hear you in that video using the word honor over and over again. That's a Marine word. Isn't yes, it, it is, sir. Honor, courage, commitment. Those are the, that's the motto of the Marine Corps. And when you're out there in Times Square and you're watching these police, and it's not, it's not all police, it isn't even most police, but there are those police officers at these demonstrations who you can see are very clearly crossing a line from serving and protecting all of the people people in New York to making some decisions that are that do not live up to what you would consider the basic honor of a New York City police officer. Yes, sir. I'm, well, the, basically, um, they have a thing where they say courtesy and professionalism. We, we as Marines consider ourselves professionals as well. So, you know, uh, being in combat operations and having, you know, face riots, you know, riders that were throwing rocks into... And, and not uh, assault a, a crowd physically and then to come home to New York City, you know, where these cops aren't under the same amount of stress, it's, it's just not, I, I couldn't fathom it. You know? Yeah, I mean, you, you guys in Iraq had to work under tremendous restraint. Yes. You don't know who the enemy is and who the enemy isn't at any exactly. given time. Uh, if you react incorrectly to people who are not the enemy, you're going to have hell to pay. There's a tremendous pressure there. And then you're watching these guys <laughs> on New York City streets. No one there facing is armed. No one. You didn't. Did you see anyone who you thought was really dangerous to the no, and, there was, police officer? There, no, nobody out there was, <laughs> you know, presenting any kind of danger to the NYPD. Um, you know, uh, I will say that I do. Um, I want people to support the occupation in their local states, and um, I want them to understand that you know police brutality is not, is, it will not be tolerated. And I need the the veteran community so, to support me in that. You know, because without you know we we can be the you know the change you know that that this country needs. You know, they say that America is the greatest country, but you know, we, we need to live up to that title. And, and you know, I, I think everybody needs a higher quality of life. We should all be living a little bit better than we are right now. So. You know, I, I wrote a book about police brutality a long time ago. I've watched this subject for a long time. Uh, when I was watching you in that video, I was watching two things. I was watching that those police were listening which yeah. is something they rarely do in those circumstances. I don't know who else could have gotten them to listen. I also could see that under no circumstances were they going to make a move on you. Yes, they sir. made a decision about you. We're not touching him. Yes, sir. I Could mean, you feel that? Did you? Did you know? I, that? I, I definitely felt it, and I mean, I, I think it was a good decision. I don't mm -hmm. think it, you know, it, it wouldn't have ended that well, you know. Um, like I, you know, I, I'm a real United States Marine. Like I live it to the core. You know, I have no fear. You know what I mean? And I have the utmost respect for you know uh, people that protect my community. But when you start endangering the people that you know, I, I put my life on the line. My family has put their life on the line to protect. You know, that that's a big problem, and you know, it, it shouldn't be. It, it won't be tolerated anymore. Retired Marine Sergeant Shamar Thomas, thank you very much for joining thank me you. tonight. Again, thank you. my honor to thank have you, you come in thank here. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.